Hi there and welcome to what should be my monthly solar stats video. Now I'm not going to do one completely this month uh, and there's really good reason. Basically my solar panels have stopped working. Um, so I've lost the last kind of couple of weeks of May and we're now into beginning of June and I've got someone coming to look at them next week. So it's also going to affect uh, my June stats as well. So what happened? Well, basically an optimizer has gone wrong on uh, one of my solar edge. Um, well, one of the solar edge optimizers has gone wrong on one of the panels, um, which has then locked the inverter and stopped production completely. Now there was a problem um, about 10 days previously to them completely being uh, going wrong and being locked and basically the um, the output was four kilowatts at eight o'clock in the evening it kind of got stuck um, so I knew something was wrong so basically I reset the inverter and it was fine um, I did raise a support issue with solar edge uh, about it just in case it could happen again because it basically been on for three odd three and a bit years so it done quite well so I thought maybe it just needs a reboot um, but then about 10 days later um, the panels basically stopped and didn't bring in anything um, and then I raised the issue again uh, and went into the log area on my app myself and I could see that there was something wrong and so Solar Edge have sent me a new part and that is soon to be fitted. So I'm kind of not really going to go over the stats completely today because I don't really see the point because they'll be completely wrong. And now they're going to be wrong for all of history as well, looking back. Um, but it's been a really good experience, I say, in a way, because now I've actually had, uh, we're still running on the battery only. Luckily, the Give Energy uh, battery side is completely separate to the inverter. So we've not, it's not all terrible. We're still able to sort of charge the battery and run off the battery. But obviously, it's a real pain when your solar goes down because you feel like, well, I felt like it was the end of the world. Uh, basically, a bit like when your kind of freezer goes wrong and all, you've got to, all your food's defrosting and going off. Um, but you sort of want it back on as soon as possible. Um, and But after about a week or so, you kind of forget about it, really, um, and just sort of carry on. But it will be nice to kind of have it put back on uh, when it is put back on. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some separate videos about it. Um, mainly because I think it will probably help other people out, especially when you kind of think everything's brilliant um, and then it's something goes wrong. And I'll kind of look at um, the kind of Solar Edge kind of warranty and the process I went through uh, and also what kind of compensation they paid to the installers. And something that's been, has emerged to be quite important has actually been uh, workmanship uh, insurance. I actually took out an extended uh, work with ship insurance separately up to five years um, and that's now going to pay dividends and I'm actually going to see if I can actually extend that. Of Some companies will uh, extend or give you a built-in workmanship warranty of even up to 10 years. Um, others may only give you one or two years so scaffolding can be expensive getting back up on the roof um, and there's also the cost of you know labour and things like that again about getting back up on your roof and sorting things out. So let's just have a quick look at my month so far and we can see when my actually solar, my solar production actually ceased. So this is the month of May for me. So I got as far as uh, producing or generating 536 kilowatt hours. Uh, everything was going reasonably well uh, throughout the month until we kind of hit um, the 20th of May. Um, and then after it stopped, I can't remember what day it was where I had an issue um as well but i could have been the 15th of may or it could have been earlier actually um but anyway the last day of production for me was the 20th of may so you can see that i've lost sort of 11 days um on the end of may um, which has not been great and obviously nothing in june so far and we're on the 6th of june as i'm recording this so this seems a bit pointless really um, as I didn't get a full May, but I would have expected or predicted uh, my May to have been as good as any May I've sort of ever had before, really, uh, sort of getting up there. Um, my 7.35 in May, I think I would have sort of hit around that. Obviously, we've got 
20 days. So that's quite uh, good, isn't it, in a way? Uh, because if I divide that by half um, and then add that back onto 536, we get 800 uh, if it was a using the average. So it would have actually been a bit slightly better um, than the previous maze, to be honest. And we could have been back up to the line where April was. Um, so that's where it should have been anyway. So, of course, um, that has affected other things as well. Obviously, I've not been exporting um, as much out of Octopus. Um, the numbers are a lot lower because we've been exp exporting hardly anything other than a little bit out of the battery. And obviously, I've had to import a fair bit of data as well. A fair bit of data. And obviously had to import a fair bit of electric overnight as well. But luckily, we've still been able to keep ourselves on the seven pence uh, per kilowatt hour rate um, through Octopus. So that's sort of seen us through, really. Um, but as I say, it'll be nice to have it back because you find you're constantly running on the battery all day long. And then the battery will kind of eventually run out uh, and it won't last the day if it's running kind of 24 7 or 24 hours during the day it will eventually run out without it being kind of topped up it's quite interesting really because we started off with solar panels only when we first had the system installed um, because you could not get a battery for love nor money and um, we had to wait about uh, two or three two months i think it was something like that before it arrived so a month or two i can't remember but um so that was quite useful just running on solar only so when the sun set bang you were paying uh full price electric and now we've had a time <laughs> now we've had a go uh, uh just the battery only which is interesting as well because obviously you can still run a house quite happily off of a battery um, especially if you've got an ev because you can then charge up at cheaper rates for the whole house as well um, through octopus intelligent so yeah so but it will be nice to have them both back so that's the end of the video. Um, if you're interested about what's happened and what's gone wrong, I will try and do a video um, as soon as possible. Although um, I'll probably put it into two parts, so it's not too long. As I said, the fix hasn't come yet, it doesn't happened. So it'll be uh, interesting to kind of make notes and cover that as well. But thanks for watching and I'll speak to you soon.